Burr. That better, better have been recording. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Look at all this room for activities. <laughs> better stop before I hurt myself. Tavis sold his motorcycle. Uh, I moved Mama's car out of the garage. We got all kinds of room in here now. Wearing one of my shirts. Better than used. Not quite new. In today's video, we're back on Midnight Maroon. Uh, gonna get the carburetor mounted and take the cover off. The weather, the weather Googles uh, just told me that there's only a very slight chance of rain today. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the cover clear off. I wanna get some good pictures of it with the current state that it's in now. I'm gonna be putting together a t-shirt, a special t-shirt specifically for the way that Midnight Maroon sits right now. <clears throat> It'll be a limited edition, limited run. I'll only leave it out there for a little while. However many sell, that's all many shirts there will be. I'll get pictures taken and all that stuff and more information to come. But uh, something to watch for there. Uh, trying to make enough money to cover the expense of paint. So uh, as you know, if you're a car guy, you know that that can get pretty expensive real quick. So not sure exactly what we're doing yet, but uh, trying to be prepared, proactive, be ready for it. Enough messing around, let's get busy. First of all, it might not rain, but it's still cold. Right now it is 44 degrees. So putting the sweatshirt on and just gonna keep moving. Try not to freeze to death. Wish me luck. mounting I've got gasket spacer and another gasket before the carburetor itself goes on oh my gosh this is gonna be awesome can't wait to drive this thing all right carburetor gasket and now carburetor itself. Let's go. Uh. Alright. Let's see if we can get a nut started. That spaced the thing way up in the sky. Well, if I have leaks in or then. All right, so I ran into an issue. Um, I swapped in an HEI distributor, and it's got this big bulky, well, this is where all the electrical goes into it. It was pointing almost straight at my fuel inlet, and there was no way to get that on there without kinking the hose, without replacing that with a fitting that's a 90 or whatever. So to fix that, all I did is rotated this one spot. So this used to be my number one. Now this is my number one. So I was able to rotate that one whole click. And then I just moved all of my plug wires one rotation around. So this is, well, I actually moved them this way. So this is number one. This is number whatever, or the firing order is. I don't know it off the top of my head. But if you remember right, I had my firing order crossed. I'm pretty sure that that's what was causing all of my issues last time. Well, at least a good chunk. So I still haven't shown that to neighbor Joe. I'm sure he'll get a good chuckle out of that because he asked me a hundred times if I checked and double checked and triple checked that. And well, it was the quadruple check that I missed. Check your firing order, folks. 
with that done, I am super confident that, well, I think we're ready to turn the key other than we put a new fuel tank in the back, the 38 and a half gallon tank, if you remember that from last week. It's empty, I gotta get some gas. So I'm gonna run to the gas hall store and you guys want anything while I'm there? All right, speak now. Nope, nothing, fine. Gas has been acquired and is in Midnight Maroon. But first, I gotta go to the store, buy some fertilizer for the grass, gotta take care of the honeydew list. And also while I'm out, I am way overdue for a haircut. Back in a flash. And just like that, huh, I clean up pretty good. You guys ever had those? Those are fantastic. This is the original seasoning, that's my favorite. The Southwest one is meh, it's all right. My granddaughters love coming over to Grandpa's house because he always has pretzels. I'm gonna get some food in me and then we'll get back to work on Midnight Maroon. We are really close to turning the key on that thing. Get some pretzels in my belly. Let's do it. Wind's blowing like crazy, hopefully you can hear me. Tavish is home from work and he's gonna change his clothes and then run out here and help me fire this up, see if we can get it going. Got our ketchup bottle. Ketchup! We're so far behind, we'll never get caught up. I gotta get the fuel line hooked back up. I put in uh, $50 worth of fresh gas and about 11 gallons of gas that I had in gas can. All in all, that's probably about 100 bucks worth of gas. I don't know how full the tank is at this point. But let me get the fuel line hooked up. Uh, we'll get Tavish out here, top the bowls off, and then we'll uh, keep an eye on our fuel filter right there and make sure that the fuel pump it's pumping, doing its thing. Good and tight, so we don't have any leaks. All right, what did we forget? Anything? Full range of motion on that. I'm gonna need a flathead screwdriver. So we can adjust throttle and as such. That's what those plugs are in, the wires are on. Now we just need a flux capacitor. Dang it. Oh, I wonder if our battery's any good after sitting all winter. Oh boy. About to find out. I need to buy one of those jump pack things. If somebody needs to sponsor me and give me one, that'd be awesome. I'm temporarily hooking up the tachometer too so that we can see what RPM we're at. You can tell I worked on this. Why or not? It's temporary. Relax. All you keyboard warriors out there, everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. There he is. All right, boy, you're here just in time. Got the tachometer hooked up. Uh, here's the key. If you'll just turn it to the on position, don't crank it. Okay. Make sure it's in neutral, too. It shouldn't matter. The wheels are off the ground in the back anyway. Did you get it to on? Yeah. Okay, come out here. Give you an update on where we're at. There's so, already a key in there. There is? Yes. Somebody because it's stolen your truck? Yeah, uh, nope. <laughs> It's on blocks, man. Everything's fine. All right, so I took like six steps backwards because we couldn't get it to run before. We couldn't get it to idle good, mm -hmm. even though it was running. So I went all the way back to pulling spark plugs, pulled that one. That one. One, two, three, four, but I plugged in one, three, two, oh, yeah. four. I had those two crossed, mm -hmm. which is why it was running crappy. Yeah. My confidence level right now is about 84.7%. Yeah. <laughs> that that was the problem. Okay. And I went back and did all this other crap for absolute nothing. Yeah. 
I don't know if a misfire because of those could possibly cause the engine to like stumble just enough to bend a rod on this side. Mm -hmm. That I don't know. So if somebody knows, let us know. So right now, ignition's hot, right? You turned the key to on. Yeah. Bit down the middle because whoops and then we hook up our I'm alone except I'm not today but parts what the absolute ah! I'm mad at myself right now I'm hilarious Look how good this one is. Yeah. Fuel pump pump and that's coming from the new case in the back. Brand new case. As long as it's pumping fast enough to fill, it doesn't look like it is. Maybe it's not pulling yet. If it doesn't look like that's filling up, it's about to run out of gas. Burning a little oil. Ram it up just a little bit. Going now. Yep. That's chugging just enough to keep it alive. Your truck's alive, boy. I know it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let it warm up. Get up the temperature. Just make sure we don't have any leaks in anything. Yeah, that's doing good now. That's exactly what that's supposed to be looking like. Pretty sweet. There's still more black coming from the driver's side than the passenger side. I don't like that. That's unburned fuel is what black is. Yeah, you can see black coming from that one, but not that one. Yeah. Makes me wonder if it's hitting on all cylinders again. Well, now it's two days later. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work on this thing. I'm gonna do my very best to get this thing running, tuned in, and working just right, timed and everything. And maybe even take it for a test drive before the end of this video. That's the goal. So where we left off, it was blowing a lot of black smoke, meaning it's running just way too rich. So being the professional that I am, uh, I went to the forums, I went to YouTube, I went basically co consumed some internet content to see if I could figure out what the heck is happening. And I got some tips and pointers based on that. So I think that the jets are just wrong for the altitude that I'm at. I'm at, I'm at like 4,300 feet in altitude right here, uh, where I live here in Salt Lake City. So I have the uh, fuel mixture screws out about two full turns right now. I'm gonna dial those back into about three quarters of a turn and maybe even turn them in farther than that if it continues to run good. Uh, I had one comment on a previous video uh, that a guy here in northern Utah as well 
said even with the smallest jets in his, he has his screws turned almost all the way down to zero. And it still runs pretty rich. So from the sounds of it, I have a lot of adjustment I can do on this thing. That's where we're starting. I'm gonna get those things dialed back down to about three quarters of a turn and then we'll fire this thing up on a cold start and see where we're at. It's really warm today. It's about 60, well, it's about 60 degrees. And so it's not a super cold start, but cold start nonetheless. Can't see nothing without the glasses. Probably need a light too. Oh boy. Need my I'm all on switch again. And hit it. Make some noise. running better than it has. I don't Let it just idle and warm up all the way before I start trying to tune on anything. coming from the driver's side. That happened last time when it was cold as well. Let me see.
It's got a BB hole through it. I wonder if that one even works. Find out. Moment of truth. Hey! Even with the hole in it, it works. How about high beams? They got high beams. Headlights are in though, so that's cool. Uh, almost street legal, so as soon as I get this thing tuned and running, we'll be able to take it for a test drive. I've got to figure out turn signals and then well, obviously tune the engine, but we're getting really close. I gotta just make progress or I get discouraged. I wanted to drive it looking all mean like that without the grill in it. But I may just bite the bullet and just put this whole front end together. Then I can troubleshoot all, all the electrical gremlins all at once. Maybe. I don't know. That's it for this episode. If you have any comments uh, or tips or tricks for me to try on my carburetor issue, please comment down below. Reach out to me on Instagram, something. Uh, I'm kind of at my wits end on it and I need a little help. Uh, at this point, I'm willing to pay somebody to help me out if that's what it takes. I just have expended every resource that I know and all the tips and tricks that I currently have at my disposal. So any help would be appreciated. Also, check the links down below. There's always ways to support the channel down below. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's a way to get to know me and my family just a little bit better. I'm starting to post a little more personal type stuff out there as well. And uh, we'll be back on this project again real soon. I've got another video that I've already recorded for it. I'm recording this outro after the fact, so I already know what's coming. Stay tuned. We're making some progress on the truck. In fact, those are some interior parts that are being painted right there. So a little teaser for next time. So be sure and like, subscribe, uh, do all those things. Also check back and we'll see you guys in the next video.